Welcome back to another episode. Today we're gonna be talking about bit banging. Bit banging is a way of transferring data through a simple pin from one side to another. Uh, the two sides could be two microcontrollers or could be a microcontroller and uh, some sort of like a sensor or a control device. And it's, it's done in software. It doesn't require any uh, spe specialized hardware. Uh, it's, it's very similar to SPI bus. Uh, if you know SPI, but then this one is is done purely in software. Now you would have a, um, a let's say a, a controller, and there is a GPIO. Typically, two GPIOs. One would be the data, and one would be the clock. And then you would have a slave device, and then the master. We will would be uh, you can say shifting out or bit banging one bit at a time to transfer that data. Let's say it's sending a byte, that's eight bits. It will be setting the first bit of that byte on the data line and then clocking the clock, sending the next one, sending the next clock. Now, a good example would be a, an, over here I have a, uh, an LED controller chip. Uh, that's on this groove module right here. This is called LED bar. So on this LED bar on the back uh, There is a small controller and this is an LED controller uh, And the way this controller works and this is I've seen this the first time which was very interesting actually Usually we set the data and you do a clock you set the data and then you do another clock like the next bit the next bit and the next bit on this controller instead of sending on every on every full clock it's actually sending data on every rising and falling edge so with every clock you're sending two bits and i'll show you how that is uh happening inside the chip over here so this is a data line and let's say this is a microcontroller and then this is the data line and then this is clock uh, so from the data line you would be setting the pin to whatever the first bit is. So let's say this is a byte and the byte has eight bits. So let's say these are eight bits. And then you, so you would take the first one, whatever that might be, let's say it's a zero, and then you would set this to a low. And then we would clock. So the clock pin, let's say this is, I'm looking at a scope and this is zero volts here over here and this is like, let's say 3.3. .3. On the clock, this pin will go high. The LED controller chip will be receiving the first bit. And then I would set the data line to the second bit and let's say it's still a zero so I, that would still be low and then the clock would go low and this will transfer the second bit. This next one is one and now the data line will be one, that's high and then I would do this ne the next clock. So every time this changes, whether it's going low to high or high to low, it doesn't matter it's always transferring the next bit. So there's a bit going low and a bit going high. Now typically, like on an SPI bus, this would happen only on the rising edges or the falling edges, but on this chip, it's happening on the rising and on the falling edges. And you would go on to the next bit and the next bit, etc., until you transfer the whole byte to that particular chip. Now, how would that look in code? So we are shifting bits out. In code, we would also be using the shift operator. And let's start with our byte. And this is the eight bits that we have in a byte. So let's pick a number, whatever that number might be, it doesn't matter. So, and we wanna shift this, send this to the, um, to the uh, slave or the controller or the other microcontroller, the other side. So this will be going on the data line, but that has to be clocked. Now in code, how would we get these individual bits? Well, we would do that through the shift operator. So let's say x equals that number, whatever that number might be. So this is a number. What we would do is take x and mask out the first bit, see if it's a zero or one. How do you mask it out? You can say x and one. X and one, meaning we are ending this number with the one meaning that you have zero, 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 and a one, so you'll be masking out the first bit. Basically, you're creating a window and you're only looking at this 
bit. If you don't understand and just use this. X and one is you're looking at, you're creating a window looking at the first bit. Or you could be looking at the highest bit because when you're sending SERA data serially, you're either sending it MSB, most significant bit, or LSB, least significant bit. This is the least significant bit, and this is the most significant bit. If you are sending MSB, this is the most significant bit. So to send this bit, we would use one over here. To send this bit, we would use, instead of a one, this becomes in hex, this would be 0x80. And when you look at this example code, we're sending 16 bits at once. At once. This will be 8000. Uh, if you're not sure why 800 hex, just open the uh, calculator on your PC, uh, enable hex, put 8000, then switch to binary, and you will see their binary representation. And that's going to be 1 all the way, and then everything is a 0. Again, this is only creating a window to look at the most significant bit. And that's what you will see in this code example. So we're looking at the most significant bit. And after we look at this bit, we see if it's true or false, one or a zero. It's, uh, it's, it's one bit. It's not going to be anything but zero and one. So if this is true, if this and that is uh, more than zero, then that is a one. And then we would set the data pin high. To this one. Now we want to go to the next bit. How do we go to the next bit? Now we can change the window, the mask, and go to the next bit down, but the easier way would be to shift all bits up. So everything, all bits go to the, to the next one, and this using the shift operator, and in this case we're shifting left, so this will be this operator right here. So next, the next step would be is to shift everything one. So we're shifting this number by one, meaning all these bits will go to the next one. This will be, will be trashed. We would not have this one anymore. You, the zero will end up here. The one will end up here. Everything is shifted one. So now you're looking at this bit because this became the bit on this side. You would use the same mask. So you're, you have a window. You're looking at the, the, the highest bit, the most significant bit, and it's a zero. We would set the data to wherever that bit is etc etc and in this chip example we clock high or low in um, to clock every bit so in code I just check if this if this was low make it high and if it was high make it low usually in code uh, for different chips you would set the pin high and set it back low that would be the one clock this chip is slightly differently different but you're it's nice because now you're sending double the data High, you're sending a bit. Low, you're sending a bit. So with the same clock, you're sending, sending double the data. Um, so I suggest at this point, like you pause the video and take a look at the code and find the mask and find the shift operator and try to understand how, how that works.